Alright, let's jump right into it. You want to go to the Coming War DLC mission, which is the very first thing after you download the new DLC. Upon doing that, you're going to get this very long cinematic, but I just, I'm just i just skipping it. You want to jump right into the level. Now, really on this level, you just have to run. I, I'm just running through it because I don't really care personally. They're all level 25. Cool thing is you can now level up through XP, not light, or I don't know how that works yet. I'm not level 40. But once you're done running through it, you're going to go back to your ship, and then you're just going to get into it. And what you want to do after that is go straight to the tower. And you're going to talk to the vanguard of your tier. I know that every for every subclass, it's different on each character what mission you'll be going to but it's always on Venus it's we made it to our so it's it's We're usually the same once you go back and talk to your Titan Vanguard or whichever tier you are for the Titan you're gonna get the March of Fire and you're gonna be sent to the Ish you're gonna wanna go to the Ishtar Sinks but the mission is well, it, it basically just starts you off right there. Uh, it's, it's actually uh, really cool. Um, now your ghost has intellect and discipline that it can give you, as does your cloaks and capes and I think the armband for the warlock. My warlock's probably my least played character. They're all 34, but I mean, now that doesn't really matter. So go to March of Fire. And again, I, I I already did this all on my hunter, so I'm not really paying attention to the cinematic. So I just try to run through it all. Now what what you what I did here was I just I, I just skip everything because I want to make this tutorial as fast as possible. I know when I'm looking up stuff, I try not to take the longest video, but this is about as short I can make it with the tutorial. You're just gonna have to stop here to use your ghost on the designated ghost scanning place. But uh, yeah, guys, this is a uh, this is the biggest expansion they've already had. Uh, for instance, I've already killed Oryx, and um, it was just an intro. Once you kill Oryx, is when he became he becomes he was he's hive when you first fight him, and then he becomes taken. Which is completely different. It's almost like as if he were a ghost, but he can still fight you. And uh, I'll be uploading other videos on the Taken here soon. Every every single Vex species, Cabal, they they all have their own new abilities. If you if you're fighting a Taken version of it. For instance, the Thrall, they multiply, um, ascent, uh, Taken Captains, they fire a dark beam at you that'll make you blind. But, anyway, once you finish all of your tutorial, once you finish all of that, you go back here, Savannah, use the... Open this gate to Mercury. I have the coordinates. Then plan a course. Find that forge, Guardian. If the city hopes to weather the oncoming darkness, we will need the flame it holds. Oh, look at that level up. So nice to have the XP bar back. I honestly really got... I really missed it, you know? It sucked having a level cap. I mean, originally you were only supposed to be 30. Now, I mean, you can only get to level 40, but that's still pretty cool. So now, once you do that, you're gonna, you can go, you don't have to go back to the tower, you can we go straight to Bound by Fire, which is but on is the Burning house. Shrine, you on Venus, like I was saying. I and what you need to do you is you just have to wait for her to stop talking, kill a little Vex, come over here, and then you're gonna use your ghost to scan this weird, uh, Titan emblem. If you do recall, that was the original emblem for the Titan. I... I think I got rid of it. I don't know. I didn't really care much for it. Now, you want to follow the light beam, and it's going to send you all the way back to just about spawn point, and then you're going to activate another Titan logo. 
this part is really cool. I'm I'm super glad about this just because uh, the Titan now has a little bit of range with this special. You know, as I then see where it was at first, and I was like, oh hey, fire. Go over there and grab your new ability. I, I just wanted to play this cinematic because I thought it was really, really awesome. Fire born of man. Fire of the light. Ask yourself, what power do you seek from the forge, Guardian? Can you bring light to where only darkness survives? Yeah, baby. And uh, the cool thing about this is right after you get all of your uh, abilities, depending on which class you use, you get what they call blinding light, or radiant light, and you just have basically infinite and special. Little bit of, like, I think five second regen time. Now, at first, I thought it was just a hammer, so I thought I had to run up and smash him. Which later I realized is a little bit better just because it gives you melee and slash damage. But then I realized that you literally shoot a fireball out of your hammer. So it has range to it. It's really cool. And I mean it's one hitting everything. Cause they're, they're level 25 and I'm a level 34. So I don't know how this is going to do in multiplayer. I don't know how it's going to do with upper levels, but if there's ever solar burn and you just happen to mana titan, good for you. I, I hate those freaking things. So yeah, I don't know, it was, just, it, it was really fun to use. Um, I have yet to do this on my warlock class, but I did do it on the hunter, and the hunter's bow is actually really badass. What happens is you just fire it at one person or enemy and once it hits them it usually it instantly kills the one you hit but then it leaves behind like a binding rope that stuns all the other ones behind it. The cool thing about the hammer though is that it constantly burns them. This is just, I don't know, I, th I thought this is really cool. I'm really excited to use this especially in PvP. That's where I usually spend most of my time. Uh, now that the expansion's out, I, 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 I really just want them to keep investing in multiplayer. Like, I like how in the last expansion they gave us Trials of Osiris, but I mean, I've already gotten every weapon out of that. Alright, and uh, I thought I thought it was over, and then of course that's when all of them spawned. But again, they're 25, so not much, too much to worry about. Alright. Go kill your last couple of goblins, and look at that. Oh yeah. A sunbreaker does not answer to any so excited about but this. the will of the light. But uh, yeah, that's how you do it. Um, if you were like me, you did all of the main story mission, and then you were like, why didn't I get my subclass? But uh, this is how you get your new subclass, and this goes for anyone. Just make sure all you have to do is just do the first mission, visit your vanguard, follow along. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe.